Oh, hi! <sighs> I suppose so. Even though we're home, the little ones are still restless. I think they might be getting lonely. After all, the barn used to be chock full of bug snacks. I'd be real grateful if you donate a few more bug snacks to my barn. Oh, they're all so cute! Thank you so much! Hopefully my little ones will settle down. Maybe I can even start training them again. Oh, hey buddy. I'm glad you're here. Uh, yeah, I've been talking to the other Grumpuses, and uh, I think they could use your help. Not just with chores and stuff, but, you know, uh, personal issues. Uh, it can be hard dealing with your problems alone, you know? It won't get you closer to Lisburg, but it'd mean a lot if you could help the others. the deal of a lifetime. Hello, friend. Welcome. Come on over. Take a look. I assure you, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> the name's Cromdo Face, the one and only salesman in paradise. Friend, have I got a bridge to sell you. Beautiful, isn't it? Hardwood? New construction, eh? Oh, baby, what a bridge! All yours for just 100 bunk snacks. What do you say? Whoa, 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 can't afford it? No problem. I got a specialty item just for you, cheap as free. Follow me, pal. Feast your eyes on this beautiful lunch pad. Totally for sale and not at all stolen. You're itching to try it out, I can tell. Eh, uh, my windmills over there got stuck. Why don't you, why don't you take it for a spin and knock them into shape? Sweaty breeze! Hup, now it's time to pay up. What? You used it, you bought it! There's no such thing as a free lunch. Pad. Eh, you could pay me three of those cheap moves. They think they're so great. Flying around. Let's see how they like flying into my mouth.
I know you're just it. I want a fighter, but it's on this ridiculously tall rock, and I wasn't exactly blessed with stilts for legs. <laughs> starting to think I should get a better location back in Snacksburg. But uh, moving all this inventory across the desert is real sweaty work. I'll need a way to keep cool. If you make both my feet into big bopsicles, uh, then walking the hot sands would be a breeze. But I gotta warn you, you won't find bopsicles in the desert. Better look elsewhere, pal. <laughs> Yes? Oh, goodness. Huh. I didn't notice you there. Hi, how are ya? I'm Triffany Ladablog. You caught me doing some archaeology. Try not to step on the skulls, ya? Yeah? You want me to come back to Snacksburg? Gosh, look around ya. There's a whole civilization buried here, and I barely dug one hole. But I could use a trip to the old research tent once I get a few samples. See these skeletons? Something's fossilized in their stomachs. Looks a bit like a local bug snack. I'll need some live ribblepeeds. If you wouldn't mind, could you help me find some? They like to hide on the walls in these here ruins. <laughs> Oh, that's curious. 
Ribblepeeds only look like they have bones. They're squishy all the way through. So what did these fellas eat then? Well, like Grandma always said, if you want answers, dig through their sock drawer. I want to get into that dwelling over there, but the door's blocked. If you could do something to get that door open. <laughs> hmm. Too kind. Meet me. Check it out. These murals are still preserved. As far as I knew, we were the first grumps to settle this island. But here we got a thousand years of history unaccounted for. Generations of grumpuses who hunted and ate bug snacks. Just a cosmic reminder that nothing really lasts, eh? Hmm, what's this? Looks like there's a hidden chamber somewhere in the canyon. Could that be where they stored bug snacks? Would you mind finding that chamber? And if there's bug snacks there, please bring them to me. Talk to you later. How long those snacks were in there? Did you find anything else in the chamber? Hmm, that's a little intense for an ancient storage shed. You know, that just might have been a burial chamber. But if that's where they put their dead, why are all these bones out in the open? Hmm, well I gotta solve this mystery. Sorry, but I won't be going back to Snacksburg. If Wambus wants me back, well, he can come out here and tell me himself. <sighs> you might have heard things haven't been too good between us. I keep telling myself I'll get around to C&M, but it's just easier to uh, stay out here with the bones. You got a point there. If I happen to see Wambus while I'm working, maybe we can catch up. Thought maybe time would help, but time's just pushing me closer to the grave, and I'm not feeling any better. I suppose I could try being among the living for a while. Thank <laughs> you. 